Our first step for our top-down game is to set up some initial conditions, including the camera. Now I'm going to begin by going under View and opening up the World Properties. Let's go under World Info, and I'm going to make sure that no default inventory for player is checked. This means that the player won't get a gun, but more importantly, it means we won't have a crosshairs in our way. Now I'm going to jump into Kismet, and let's start off by creating an event that we can use to switch over to the camera. So I'm going to right click, come down to New Event, and grab a player, and then Player Spawned. Now, when the player is spawned, we want to attach a camera to them, and it would help if we had a camera in our scene. So I'm going to close out of Kismet, jump over to Actor Classes Browser, grab the Camera Actor, close that. Now let's right-click here on the floor, and it really doesn't matter where you place this, but I'm going to choose Add Camera Actor here, and just to help me be able to find it, I'm going to drag this up into the air, up above the level. Okay, now, with the camera actor selected, let's go back into Kismet, and we're going to add an Attach to Actor action. So come under New Action, Actor, and choose Attach to Actor. Now I'm going to connect this from the player spawn to the end of the Attach to Actor. Now, for the target, we're going to use the player. So let's right-click, come down to New Variable, player and player. Make sure you uncheck all players. So we're only talking to player zero, which in one space terms, we're actually talking about player one. So let's plug that into target. Now for attachment, we need to use the camera. So I'm going to right click, choose new object var using camera zero, and plug that into attachment. Okay, so we have attached the camera to the player. Now there's a couple of other things I want to do as well. We're going to give the uh, camera a target of the player at the same time. So let's right click, go to new action, camera, and choose set camera target. Plug the out of our attached to actor to the end of the set camera target. Now target is going to actually be player zero. We could make a copy of this variable, but I'm just going to go ahead and connect over like so. And the cam target will be the camera itself. Now a couple of things we need to set up before we try this out. Come back over to your Attach to Actor, and we need to make sure that we use Relative Offset to move the camera up into the air, and use Relative Rotation to aim the camera down at the player. So let's take the Relative Offset. We're going to set Z to 768 to pull that up into the air, and then open up Relative Rotation. We're going to set the pitch to negative 90. Now with just that done, let's go ahead and give this a quick test. So I'll go ahead and hit the play this level in editor window. And there we go. So the first part of our top down system is complete. We have a camera that's up above the player that looks down on them that we can use to start navigating the level. So at this point, let's go ahead and save the level out. And then in the next video, we will continue.